what's up? It's Ava Rose. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel again today. And in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and do a Valentine's Day glam makeup look. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out what I did for my Valentine's Day look, just go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm going to start putting concealer on my lid to prime my eyes. And I'm using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C7. I just got it and it is so amazing. Guys, like, it does wonders to my eyes. I'm going to take one of my flat, brush, like, flat oval brushes with the handle. And I'm just going to go ahead and just blend. <gasps> Uh-oh. I forgot this had my orange color corrector on it. Oh, guys. It kind of looks orange. Okay, hold on. So it turns out this giant one is the only one that's um clean right now. So I'm just taking a brush and I'm blending this all over my lid just so that we can get it prepped. I'll blend it all out. So once you put your concealer on your eyelids and you blend it all out, just go ahead and set it with a little bit of powder. Just take a little fluffy kind of like tapered brush dip into some powder that's in my lid, tap it off, and just put a little bit just to make sure that there's no creasing. And pick out some eyeshadow to use. And of course, I'm going to be staying in the Valentine's Day theme, the Through My Eyes palette by ColourPop because it has some gorgeous pinky shades in it. I'm going to use some of the bright pinky shades in here. I have a little hack for you guys today. So I went and I bought tiny little heart seat stickers. Make a cute stencil for the heart right out here in like our little outer corner because I wanted to do something with the Valentine's Day theme, but I did not want to try to draw hearts because going in with euphoric and I'll just nostalgia, I'm tapping off all the excess and I'm gonna go ahead and use a fluffy transition brush and I'm just going to go ahead and put that all on blending over my little heart shaped stencil very gently. Ooh, guys this is about to look so cute. Top it off and I'm going to lightly blend that for my transition also on the other eye. Once you have your transition shades in, I'm going to go in with this beautiful hot pink color called Limo. I'm going to take a denser fluffy brush with Limo on it, the outer V area. And I'm going to blend that color just in through there over. I'm blending it over that little stencil I put on too. Is some pigmented pink. Wow. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna put this pink shade called Limo all over my lid today. We're gonna be doing a um matte <laughs> eyeshadow for the lid today. Just decided, don't ask me why. But look how pretty it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. So after you have a limo all over your eyelid and blend it into the transition shades, this is what it looks like. And honestly, guys, like, we're rocking Valentine's Day together because, like, I'm speechless. Like, look. Yes. Um, yes and yes. I'm going to take a little bit of this light pink shade called In a Wink to blend out the outer edges just to make it a little softer and not so harsh of a tone on my, on the outer part of the eyeshadow. You want to soften it up just a tad bit. So I just took off one of the heart stickers and I'm going to go ahead and peel and reveal. See how it looks. Oh, guys, these look so cute. It's time for some lashes. I'm using Lashway from the Sephora collection. I really love these and they're so fluffy and adorable. So I'm going to go ahead, line my eyes, put those on, and I'll be back to show you what we do for the rest of our Valentine's Day glam. Already prepped 
and primed my face. So we're gonna go ahead and use my favorite ColourPop foundation, which is the stick foundation. And we're just gonna go ahead and put some on. Use a flat top little buffer brush to buff my concealer. <laughs> That's how tired I am, guys. Foundation out. I'm just gonna blend all of this out and make it look good. Like, oh gosh. I know I keep raving about their stuff, but seriously, it's amazing. Like, I would not rave enough about it if it wasn't as amazing. So, once my foundation's on, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C7 and put that all underneath and highlight just a little bit Ooh, that was kind of crooked but you know it's okay because we're gonna be blending it out so just putting it in the highlighted areas i already put a serum to cover my dark circles just a brightening serum like i always do because your girl needs a little extra help when it comes to a dark circle i'm gonna use a beauty blender I'm holding my mirror up so if I look down I'm looking at my mirror I promise I'm not ignoring you guys <laughs> I'm just blending that out and this is damp too I just got a little damp really quick because it just helps to blend better if your beauty blender's a little a little bit damp and I'm just like to shape it a little bit with the concealer on or you can use a makeup wipe i went ahead and put some powder on my concealer to set it i'm gonna let that bake while i'm putting on my bronzer i'm gonna switch it up today instead of using my anastasia bronzer i'm gonna go ahead and use the physician's formula their boosting bronzer just because i wanted something a little more glowy love it to death and sorry i'm having kind of like a shirt malfunction you know when you wear like the sh off the shoulder tops and they never want to stay up yeah that's what's kind of happening so sorry if my shirt's like lopsided throughout the video i don't really mean it to but you know they're really cute anyway i like to use this bronzer for more of like a glowy kind of finish and i'm just gonna put on just a tad bit just do my nose too just do it a little lighter because I don't want too much bronzer I just want my face to get some shadow and color you know so you can do it more precise but I just like to go from the sides and just put it on and then a little bit right underneath the jawline Ooh, guys we looking cute okay I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the bake really quick to blend some of the bake in with the bronzer and the other foundation I put on so that I can set it a little bit and just make sure like a straight line <laughs> you know it's just nice and blended a super pinky blush so I'm using my Anastasia blush trio and I'm using this middle shade right here I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that onto the cheeks my favorite highlighter palette is the Bretman Rock in the Morphe palette they collabed on. I first bought it like as soon as it came out. Shade Coat Chi and I'm just gonna put a little bit on a fan brush and just go ahead and highlight my face. Ooh, yeah, this pink highlighter was a good idea. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and get some lipstick. And this is actually, I got this in an Ipsy bag and it's called. I think it's called low key but it's from the brand called caked and guys it literally smells like cake batter it's so pretty look and who knew i would honestly wear this color all the time <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Day glam. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and click the bell notification so you can be notified every time I post a video. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye, loves.